COVID has led to an increase in inflammatory response to agents on the skin or in the skin, at least in my experience. We've seen an increased number of people since the COVID pandemic who are reacting to things that they didn't previously react to, or people who've never had things before, but are having greater reactions than people who never had things before used to have. And there's a link with COVID and it's not very clear yet. We're still investigating what we used to call long COVID is now best known as multi-system inflammatory syndrome. And whether it's part of that or not, we don't know because there's not enough data yet, but there's definitely a thing where people are reacting more to things now, eyebrow dyes, hair dyes and injectable products as well. And that's what really is the point of this. It's if you're a patient, just be aware if you're going to have something for the first time, there are very, 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 very few injectable products in the world of aesthetics that are not by nature inflammatory. Genuinely mean that. There are so many cases of people reacting and regretting things. Now, I had one this morning in a consultation, a lady who had fillers two years ago, not by me, but she had it and she was still suffering the consequences of the inflammatory reaction to that. So I think it's something we need to be aware of. There's definitely more of this happening. I'd love to see in your comments below, you know, your thoughts on this. This is not a time for people who are anti-COVID vaccine to dominate the comments because it's not the point. We will never know. COVID vaccine, we will never know. But the point is it's here. It's happening, whatever caused it. And it's that really that I'm trying to keep the awareness going or raise the awareness of that for people who may perhaps be thinking about a treatment for the first time. Just really carefully think about what you may be introducing into your skin.